Here with the boy Greg Haggett. Ha <laughs> ha, what's fire? What's good, Jay? We on a coffee run, you already know. Shit like that. It's cold as shit out here. Yeah, it's biting. We good though. What's going on with you? I'm just chilling. We in the gym. We got Jesse Hart this week. We got Big Snipe this week. You know how it go. All boxing shit. Snipe. <laughs> what you doing, man? Down in the middle of North Philly. Yeah, that's what they say. You go in one of these old school poppy stores. You ain't about to get too much food out of there. You get your little sandwich, a BLT or something like that. That's about it. Something like that. Yo, so apparently you had something to get off your chest, yo. <laughs> yeah, it's a um it's a bull, right? So he like a after after doing a little bit of research, he like a he like a I don't know what you call it, like a like a Terrence Crawford like fan fiend like a fiend fan type of boy. Like I don't know, like what you call it, like a super fan. Like, I don't know. But he got a joint called Boxing Talk, right? He went on there, made two videos where he put my face on there, he put your face on there, fanning. It's a bunch of dudes. And he like, yo, these dudes biased. And I see the narrative. They putting up against Bud and with Boots. You know what I'm saying? They they obviously love Boots because they from Philly. You know, this and that. YSM. Basically, you you all you pro Boots, everything Boots. You know what I'm saying? Greg Hackett, he try to play both sides. You know, this and that. So I'm thinking to myself, like, play both sides. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, if, if you ask me about a fight, I'm talking about both fighters. Like, so how's that both sides? Like, what you talking about? So then when I did my research and I peeked, he just like a Terrence Crawford, Crawford fanatic. Like, everything bud. Like, I go on his page. He named, he he named the, uh, the what you call that shit? The, uh, what you call it, Mill? What? The the channels? Name? No, he named the video. He oh, named yeah. the video Terrence Crawford some shit, but you playing with your daughters. No disrespect to his daughters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you running around with your daughters oh, on the, the, the video. Oh, the caption. The caption. The title. You to the running video. around with your daughters on the video. Terrence Crawford not in the video. It's a video that somebody else took that you edited and put on there. So I'm like, why you? I'm like, what you on, bro? Like, what type where shit you on? So I. So what I'm realizing is, I looked at his. I did some more research. I looked at his page. He's starting a new page. He got a probably 100 videos and, you know, however many subscribers and all that. He trying to get his page going. So he going at motherfuckers. But it's a Terrence Crawford page. So the first thing go to my mind, well, what happens when Terrence Crawford retires? Is this guy over? Like, is this, this is everything over? Is life over? Because that's how he carrying the page. Then he said on the joint, uh, what he said on there? He, be, he said some crazy shit. But the whole thing is, like, oh, oh, this is what he said. He said, if a motherfucker, a real street nigga, because I commented on there and said he looked like he got a wave wig on. <laughs> his joint real shiny. He dark skin boy like me. But his joint real shiny with the waves in it and shit, and it just looked like it was placed on his head, like perfectly placed. Shout out to his barber, too, because that shit looked perfect. Damn near, you know what I'm saying? So he like, if a real street nigga, I ain't going to say that. If a real, you know what I mean, commentator, this, this, and that, if... If that's what he on, why would, why would he bring up another man to parents? But why are you bringing up another man? Why are you talking about all these guys that's been doing their pages for however long they've been doing it? People, you know, know them for their work, whether it's good work or bad work. They putting in work. You come out of nowhere and you think because you a Terrence Crawford fan and you and you carrying a narrative like you saying we trying to do. How you? Why are you even saying anything? Like, who are you? Like, you know what I'm saying? And not who, who are you like I'm better than you. But like, what did you bring into the table? You want some bullshit? Like, and I just wanted to put that out there because I I don't like when people be, you know what I'm saying, saying a little smart shit, and then when you say something back, they erase the comments. He, I told him I wanted to go live with him. We can go live. Like, I like to I like to get it popping. If we're gonna put on the show, let's put on the show. So if you're gonna talk your shit, come on the page and talk your shit. Like, don't 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 uh don't don't throw a stone and then hide your hand. Don't do no shit like that. Like that's some, you know what I mean, some nut shit. But all in all, like. It's called Boxing Talk. Everybody go check it out. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to show him some love. Go go in there. Everybody check out Boxing Talk. Y'all tell me what y'all think about his page. To me, he on bullshit. If it ain't Terrence Crawford, it ain't right. His setup, he got a Terrence Crawford t-shirt with a Everlast bag that he's never used. He said he boxed before. I seen him work out. Nope. He took some lessons, but I beat his ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, I, I'm only making this video because 
we not gonna, if you really on some shit, all right, stay on that. But we not going, we not going to throw shit out there and we really not on that. He like bud cousin or something. He, he got to be like, and he not even the cousin like that's my mama's son. He the cousin like that's my great uncle nephew's son. Like some weird shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He an extra cousin. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, just go to fuck here. Like, you know what I'm saying? We we on YSM. When I'm on YSM or when I'm on GHB TV, I try to keep it real as possible. When I'm on other channels, I try to keep it real as possible. You know what I mean, don't. And this and listen, it's not so much that I'm biased or it's not so much that it's I don't want to go all the way in detail about certain things because I do know certain shit and I do be around certain people. But for ninety three percent of the time, I'm keeping it a bean. You know what I'm saying? So don't do that to me. And my ninety three percent is sturdy. Yo, don't what, what I don't understand is this, right? Yeah. We can disagree about a fight. Absolutely. Right? Everybody has different perspectives, yeah. but that doesn't make people biased. Just right. because I see something that you know, or I believe something that you know, don't right. mean that you're biased. Like, you, he called you out, right? Dudes called me out all the time. I'm used to it. Yeah. But um, he called you out, and you have done nothing but speak highly of Bud in every interview that we've done. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But now, all of a sudden, since you want him to face boots, then all of a sudden... Now it's a whole conspiracy theory. He said that you was using, you you were speaking highly of Bud only to take Bud fans over and have them become Boots fans. Like yo, what the fuck? You know why? <laughs> you know why that? You know why that don't make no sense? To first off, who the fuck is going to go through that much fucking detail? Yeah, like I'm you're not getting, getting a crazy by, check. I'm not getting paid by the Ennis family, so it's not. So it's not happening. Um, it's not happening because. I'm not saying the same the things I'm saying because I'm looking to get paid or some shit. It's not happening. I never received a check from the Ennis family, so it don't make sense if I'm if I'm doing it for some money or some shit. And if I was doing it for clout, I would be talking about that on my page. I ain't even really make a video about boots and bud actually fighting. And actually, that's a good idea. I should break it down on my you page. Might as well, sure. You know what I mean, it's, but it's a hot topic. But I want to see the fight because now that's a good fight. Three years ago, four years ago, we wasn't talking about them two fighting. We was talking about Bud and Spence fighting. Now, when I when, when I said that Terrence Crawford a beat Spence, is because that's what I saw. That's what I thought. You know what I'm saying? It just so happened to happen. Now, the crazy thing is, where was this nigga at before they fought? I ain't never heard of this boy. Now, all of a sudden, you you everything Terrence Crawford. I'm 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 starting to feel concerned. For Terrence Crawford because I'm starting to feel like the boy from Boxing Talk, he got like Terrence Crawford draws, he got like Terrence Crawford socks, <laughs> like he wear it, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like I said, I saw your videos, I really beat you up, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to beat you up, I just want to let you know, like this is not what, this, what you think it is, you know what I'm saying? Over here, we give you the raw shit, we give you the good shit at YSM, you getting the good shit at GHB TV, that's my man, yeah, he, we from Philly, but we calling it how we see it. When, when, when Cool Boy took the L, we talked about it. It was what it was. We're we not going to cry over spilled milk, and we're going to always be Philly, and it's going to always be dogs here, and, and it's always going to go down like this. You know what I'm saying? And I understand his excitement because because Terrence Crawford is a great fighter, but, like, we're not saying, oh, Boots is a monster. He'll kill him. we saying it's a great fight. That's what we saying. So, you know what I mean? I just want to tell Cuz, like, fuck out of here. Like, that's all. I, and guess what? No, I ain't want to make this video. I wanted to make this video. I wanted to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm tired of people doing nut shit. And by nut shit, I mean I'm commenting and I'm telling Cuz, come on, we're going to go live. He don't want to jump on the joint. He, he racing my comments. You know what I mean? Shit for, like that. For me, I don't want to make my shit about beefing with content creators. For sure. My for shit sure. is about the yeah. experts. You are expert. Yeah. Bozy's an expert. Bomax an expert. Yeah. So I'm... I want to know what y'all feel about boxing. Yeah. Fuck how I feel. Yeah. Right? Somebody want to make fucking videos about YSM. YSM yeah. don't box. And this is <laughs> and this is another case of these motherfuckers that be sitting in their house and they be bored. You know what I'm saying? We 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 taking a walk from the gym to the to the poppy store. We're gonna go do what we gotta do, and I'm right back in the trap. You niggas be in y'all bedrooms. Y'all be getting cursed out by y'all ladies and shit because y'all spending too much time talking about some shit you really don't love. You know what I'm saying? I love this shit here. I mean, I've been doing this shit since I was 12 years old, so stop playing with me. That's all.